Hello everyone, now let's talk about the selection sort. So what is selection sort? Actually it is a search and swap algorithm. Search and swap. What does that mean? It means now given the array list and now you need to find one element and this element needs to be the smallest one for example like this one okay and now you need to put the smallest one in the first element and then okay you're going to do a swap here so first step you need to search the smallest one and then you need to swap it all right and after that you're going to find the smallest number again in the subarray and then again find the smallest one for example like this one and then swap it with the first element of the sub list and then you just keep moving on so this is selection sort all right so now let's see an example so now given an array with six numbers All right and the number is 27 7 2 9 4 85 All right so for the first step now you are going to find the smallest one so of course here okay the smallest one we can find the smallest number will be two so the first step after the first step Okay, you are going to find smallest number will be 2. And then the first number will be 27. So you are going to swap 27 and 2. So after first pass, the array will become 2, 2. And you are going to swap 27 to here. And then the rest will be the same. All right, then we are going to do the second round again. So for the second round, we are going to find the smallest one in the subarray here. All right, then again, now the smallest one will be four. And the number that we are going to do the swap will be seven. So we are going to swap 7 and 4 again. So after second pass, after second pass, the array will become 2, 2, 4. Okay, and now we are going to swap 4 and 7. So 7 will be moved to here. And 27, 9. 85 all right so again okay now we're going to shrink our sub list to size of four so again you're going to find the smallest number in the sub array which is nine and the number that you're going to change is the first element of the sub array which is 27 so you're going to swap again so it will become to this after the third pass so i think for the selection source that's very straightforward you just need to find the smallest number and swap it with the smallest uh, the first element in the sub array then you can finish the selection source so for the selection source what what its name is selection sort because you are going to select the smallest one and then swap it with the first element of the sub array so now let's see all right so for an array of n element so now given an array of n element for example like this one okay for array of n element then this array okay is sorted after n minus 1 passes 
Why? Because start from the first one. Okay, you are going to find one the smallest number after the first pass. And this one, okay, you need to find the second smallest number after the second pass. And for the third one, again, okay, you are going to find it after uh, the third smallest number after the third pass. But for the last one, actually, you don't need to find the biggest number. You don't need to find the biggest number after the nth pass because when the n minus one element has been found, then this one, the last one, will also be found too. So that you only need to take it only need to take n minus one passes to sort the whole array. And after the kth pass. Okay, for example, like this is the first one, this is the second one, this is the third one. So after the case pass, then the first k element, the first k element will be sorted. There will be in their final sorted position. So for example, after the first pass, the smallest one, okay, it will be sorted stored at the final position which is the first element and after the second pass after the second pass then the second smallest number will be found so of course it will be put here and so on so for the after case pass the first k element will be put at the right position Okay, so any questions? No? All right, if there's no question, then of course the next step, okay, how to implement the selection sort in Java. Okay, let me erase it. All right, so basically um, the code of the selection sort is not that hard. Okay, so you basically you need two variable to implement the selection sort. The first one, okay, let's just do it. The first one you need, oh, you need an int, okay, and let's name it minimum, okay, let's min, name it min. All right, min means, okay, you are going to record the smallest number Okay, the smallest element index. Okay, remember minimum. Okay, this one is for you to store the index instead of the actual number. And the second variable that you need is temp. This is for you to do the swap. All right, so what to, how to do the selection sort? Of course, you need a for loop. All right, and let's start from the first one. Okay, and I, okay, let's assume given an array A. Okay, so, all right, of course, I, the index, okay, will be A dot length minus one. Remember, okay, the last one, the last one, you don't need to find the right position for the last one. So we just need to Need, we just need to end at n that length minus one. I right, plus plus. All right, and then what's the next? Okay, of course we can set the minimum index. Okay, is I, which means which one we're going to f find. For example, start from the first position. Then the minimum number will be this. Uh, the minimum index will be this one. And when we are going to find the second smallest one, the minimum index will be the second one, and so on. All right. And then we need the second for loop. All right. And for the second for loop, is you are going to find the smallest one in the sub array. So you are going to do int. Okay, and given j and start from the next element. Okay, so let's do i plus one, and you need to find it. Okay, from the uh, the next one till the end. So j need to be eight dollars 
and G++. All right, and then the next, okay, of course, if, all right, if A minimum, okay, is greater than A, J, all right, then, okay, you are going to change the minimum to J, okay, so later you can do the swap, all right, and after the follow-up here, okay, this one is for you, okay, to find the smallest element the index of the smallest element all right and then if i don't think i have enough space but okay if the minimum is not equal to i okay which means there's a smallest number uh, there's a smaller number okay then you are going to do the swap okay so the temp value will be a minimum and a minimum will be a i and then the last one okay your a i will be temp oh 